Hey everybody, MTG Magpie here and welcome to another Booster Box opening. Today we have, well, if the nails don't give it away with this very bright orange and purple, we have a box of Dragons of Tarkir with a little bit of a difference in that it's not an official box, it's just 36 boosters shoved in a box when they were on sale. So I've been dying to do this and the camera is absolutely going to fall over when I do this, but... Whee! <laughs> That went surprisingly well, actually. That really did go surprisingly well. So, I'm not even sure if they're all here, but we'll count them out and go from there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Really should have done this before, but uh, let's waste everybody's time with this. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we have. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go. Right. Let's get rid of two of these and let's get straight into this one pile over here. Oh, ha, ha. So there are some pretty good cards in Dragons and Park here. They're mostly dragons and pretty exciting. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm going to declare this like an unofficial dragon hunt because the standard rules of boxes don't apply when you buy a sort of informal booster box. You're not really guaranteed the same spread of mythics, your foil rare, you don't know what you're going to get. So I'm hoping that there's going to be a bit of variety in this and it's going to be fun. So Dragons of Tarkia, here we go. Let's kick it off. And we are looking for some dragons because it's a waste of time otherwise. And I do not have a thing to put these in. One moment. Got to be tidy. Tidy, otherwise it, it drives me bonkers. Right, we don't really need to look at these, except maybe if there's some cool dragons, but I think we're okay. We'll just take a look at the first uh, couple of uh, commons. So our first uncommon is a battle mastery. Enduring scale lord. Yes, we have a dragon. We have a dragon, everyone. I'm going to put that down here. Uh, Circle of elders. And our rare is... Oh, well... The camera gives up on life and everything. Hello, camera. Yes, wonderful. Please, please, please. Okay. We good? We good? The exemplars killed the camera. That's incredible. Please. Potato cam. Come on, work with me. So our first mythic here. Um, not one of the ones you really need in life in general. And I do believe I already own this, but hey-ho, a mythic. Happy days, a swamp and a goblin. So, so far, one mythic, one dragon. Pretty exciting stuff there. Let's go on to pack number two. All right. Potato cam. Hello. 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 Anything? Anything? Earth to potato cam. There we go. Okay. Let's just... Jump on through, jump on through. Doo -doo. All right, we have Sight Beyond Sight. Battle Mastery again. Okay, lots of Battle Masteries. So getting a theme here, getting a theme. And Arishin Foremost, a human warrior. Pretty cool. Pretty cool looking. Not bad. Not bad. We'll just we'll just pop you over over here for now. And mm, lovely, lovely waste of cardboard there. Okie doke. I, mean, I wasn't feeling the dragons in that pack, you know. I really wasn't. That made me quite sad. Let's take a look. Skipping on through. I mean, it's got a dragon on it, so half point, I guess. All right, we have Minister of Pain, the Sorcerer, the Dragonloft Idol. Um, unfortunately, Gargoyle, not Dragon, so does not count. And Avatar of the Resolute. Nice. I like the art. It goes with the mat, so that's cool. We'll pop that over there. Kind of disappointed that we haven't had a singular foil yet, but hey ho, we're only uh, three packs in. One dragon though, one dragon so far. I'm not impressed with the search so far, being honest. 
I was expecting better, but can't have it all. I mean, kind of dragony, yeah, 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 yeah. Burb. Points for Burb. Again, another beautiful card with a dragon on, but not actually a dragon. So, uh, we have the Ambush Kate Shaman, the Youthful Scholar. Call them Forerunners. And Dragon Whisperer. Okay, again, not actually a dragon, but another mythic. But unfortunately, not really a mythic you want to see. But, uh, you know, mythic and half dragon, so pretty good. We have a beautiful Stormrider rig foil. That is really nice. I really love um, foiled electricity. It goes with the nails. Look at it. Yes, that is that is nice. Pop up there. A swamp and another waste of cardboard. Let's keep this up. So two mythics, one foil, one dragon. Hmm. Something something seems wrong here. All right, we have the Avon Sun Striker, a nice little bird wizard. The sorcerer again. Ah, well, bonus points for being a dragon. Unfortunately, a duplicate dragon, but bonus points and commune with lava. Well, uh, yeah. This is probably look really nice in foil. Probably. We'll pop that down there. An island and a morph token. Let's keep it up in our hunt. The, 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 the fun and slightly scary thing about doing booster boxes this way is you really don't know. You could totally swing and miss a load of mythics completely, but uh, pretty happy to have two so far. So that's always nice. Okay, we have the Raksasha Gravecaller. The Youthful Scholar, the Salt Road Quartermasters, and Sunscorch Region. It's a dragon, guys. It's a dragon. It's an actual rare dragon. We have a winner. That is definitely going down there on our dragon pile. And a swamp and a waste of cardboard. All right. We are picking up the pace on the dragon front. I am pretty happy. I wonder which part of the informal box is going to have the most dragons in. I'm hoping it's not this part because we're really not doing that well at picking them up. Oh, right. We have an Ogre Shaman. And half point, half point. There is a dragon on the card. There is a dragon on the card. Mm, maybe half point again. Not doing badly. And we have the Bloodshin Fanatic. I really love um, the horse on this card. Not the orc, the horse. The horse is definitely where it's at. And, oh, a nice little foil mount in there. I love this um, sort of textury. I mean, it's not actually textured, but it looks like it could be textured foil here. And it's really nice on uh, these foils. It's pretty special. Pretty happy with that. A swamp and a morph token. All right, five packs left in this part of the box. Let's see what we're going to get, if we're going to get any more dragons. Okay, we have a Void Squall. Explosive Vegetation, which I believe is uh, one of the uncommons you're looking for in this set. In fact, it's the only uncommon you're looking for in this set, really. Uh, so not a bad, not a bad little uncommon there. Uh, Tapestry of the Ages and... Thunderbreak region. We have a dragon, everybody. Yes, it's another dragon. I bet this looks incredible in foil. This lightning would look incredible. But uh, points for dragon. So happy days. That's definitely going on the mat. All right, four packs left. We seem to be picking up pace with dragons, which is always nice, always good. Uh, let's see what we're going to get. It's a zombie turtle. It's not what we're looking for. Do, 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 do. All right, in case in ice, silk wrap. That's a, that's a cool looking card. Salt Road Quartermasters again, and Dragon Lord's prerogative. Well, I mean, it's a really nice card. This, this in foil must be beautiful. 
I'd really like that in full. I need to get that. Anyway, I digress. Sorry. Um, it is a dragon, so I'm pretty happy with that. I am actually going to put that there. I really like that one. It gets full points as a dragon because I said so. Fight me in the comments. All right. Do 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 dragon. Okay, this guy again. Whoops, uh, this guy again. Lightning Berserker, that's a, that's a very red card. And Pitiless Horde. I know, you, I know what you're all waiting for me to say. And yes, this would look incredible in foil with the lightning. Yes, I know. I'll shut up. I'll put it over here and I'll shut up. Yes. Okay, moving on. We've only got two packs left in this part. But it's not been uh, it's not been so bad. We've been successful on the dragon front. Not necessarily the... Uh, the old value front, but you're not really going to get a lot of value out of these sets uh, these days, aside from the mythics, which we've missed on. But, you know, dragons. Echoes of the Kin Tree. This dude, I'm really, I'm really taking a dislike to this dude. I might start counting this dude as an against. I swear these two always come together. Bit weird, bit weird. All right, and Radiant Purge. Not a dragon. Oh, and a, a zombie horror. <laughs> okay, last pack. Last pack. What are we going to get? All right, we are looking for dragons. Nope, 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 nope. We have a self-inflicted wound. The uh, sequel mass spell eater. Not a dragon. The attack of Pamela. And... Oh, Anna Fenza. That's not bad. I like Anna Fenza. It's a pretty good card. I'm uh, happy to see that. But, not a dragon. A swamp and a warrior. So, from the first part, really, the only kind of dragons we have are these two, which are, you know, honorary. They're only here because it's a mythic, and I like the, the art a lot. And, uh these four dragons. Dragons of Tarkir is kind of letting me down here, I'm not going to lie. I thought there'd be more dragons, but maybe I was wrong. Uh, but I will see you all in the next part to see if there are actually dragons in Dragons of Tarkir, or if it's all fake news. Bye!